Once was agnostic, and now I am a true believer. Follow me to Journey Church on Easter Sunday. I want to tell you a story that uh, came to me in 1968. I was in the Air Force uh, serving in the Vietnam conflict. Uh, I was uh, an aircraft a repair, an airframe repairman, and uh, I was working on F-111s, and we were assigned to Tok Lee, Thailand in March of 1968. And we spent the first uh, month that we were over there establishing ourselves on the base, building up our shops and things. And then finally, after working 12 hours a day, seven days a week, we got where we wanted to be, and I got my first chance to travel downtown uh, to this little town of Tok Lee, Thailand. And, uh, and, the Air, and the Air Force Base was here, and the town was there, and you came down a little road this way, and a little road that went that way. And as you were going down this little road this way, you looked across, and there was this wide expanse of rice paddies. And out in the rice paddy was this farmer and and he had his oxen and he had his cart and uh, and I, I just noticed him it was just such a typically Asian scene of this rice farmer working in his flooded rice field planting planting his rice and it, and it just was an interesting scene and the first time I'd seen something like that and uh, so as time went by and, and I made this trip from the base downtown on occasion, I would go by it, and, and this lone farmer was out there, and then, and then one of the times I was, I was traveling by watching this farmer work his field, in the distance behind him, an Air Force jet was taken off, fully armed with ordnance, and whatever it takes to fly over to Vietnam and, and do its job over there. And I thought, how strange it was that here was this man who had been taught by his father how to farm rice all by himself, and his father, father taught him. And since he was out there with his oxen and his cart, he must have been farming rice exactly that same way for a thousand years or more. And I thought how strange it was in a country that was actually so backward to us to see this jet taken off and realize that it made absolutely no difference to this man at all what we were accomplishing over there. It makes no difference difference to him. And then I'm looking at him and he's in this field and all of this activity is going around, be, around beside him and I'm thinking he's out there in that field all by himself and there is nobody there but him and his God. And it's, it just struck me that that's really exactly what we have in life as we pursue our, our endeavors from the beginning to the end and we come into this world, we go out of this world, but we don't. Somewhere in the middle we pick up our God. So you come into the world alone, and you can go out of the world alone, or you can go out of the world with your God with you, and you can go with your God, or you can go alone. And, and so you can go all through life, all by yourself, or you can do as that farmer does, and how those common time people do. You can go through life doing your separate skill, because it's really what it is. You pursue your separate skill and your separate life, and it's you, and in the end, it's you and your God. And, and, and that's my testimony. I've been carrying that with me for nearly 50 years. But as far as I'm concerned, my testimony is throughout life, it's you and your God. You can come in alone, and, but you, you better leave with your God, because if you don't leave with him, where are you going to get him? Anyway, I just wanted to say that. Thank you.